well, not my usual repair. It's not a 6.4 liter F350 engine or an excavator or something else, but this is a tool that my wife uses. She does hair and nails, a nail technician, and I'll just say I'll call her an artist when you actually see some of the work she does. But this is one of the tools that the professionals use, and when I got to look at it one day, she had an issue, and I got to look at this uh, gelish go file the drill, I was pretty impressed. I mean, the way I love tools and mechanisms and any kind of working things, uh, when I got to looking at this and feeling it and looking at the whole setup, it's like, this thing's pretty amazing. It's like a 35,000 RPM. It's just smooth and incredibly quiet for that kind of RPM. Uh, they can take it wherever, kind of portable and everything. But here's uh, two things. I actually had to fix this once before. Uh, she had a cord that was going bad. I'll show you what I did to fix that. And the other issue she's come back with now is that although the battery is showing full, it's not lasting long enough. So it's time for a new battery. So we're going to go through two things to work on this for my wife to take back to work. Okay, first thing that we fixed on the uh, Jellish Go file was she was having intermittent working of the, uh, of the drill head. And when we would move the cord, we could tell that there's, you know, there's something in the cord that's bad. Um, it does have some good protection for normal means, but enough flexing and use, you get a wear and some wire was separating in there. So I started to look and say like, well, am I really going to have to unwire, solder things? I really wasn't sure at first. But then I figured out just really how easy this is. If you just need to order that cord there, this just unplugs. Let's go ahead and pull it out. We'll set the drill battery section to the side. Then this part, all you need to do is unscrew this cap. Nice little threads there. And yeah, nothing complicated here. We're just going to gently wiggle, unplug. That's all it is. So just remember the same socket back. You just get take the new cord, which is, this is the new cord. Plug it back together. Reattach that plug it back into the base and you are good to go that's a pretty simple repair okay next we're going to address the battery pack uh, replacement which i've ordered one here this is for a go file battery 60 bucks um i'll try to remember to put a link in there what these uh where i got these from i can't even remember right now but um i looked at it and i'm like well there's no obvious separation or anything in here to get this thing apart um so when i looked on the bottom again i couldn't find a video for doing this so that's why i'm going to figure it out along the way and give you all a video for it but i started feeling along the bottom like i'll do when there's labels and if i press along the bottom here i can start to actually see i don't know if you can see it in reflections but these little dimples after pressing them you can see that there's two places there i'm going to assume that those are screws and that's what brings the battery pack out. I actually don't know yet, um, but I'll, I'll put a thing over the video going, Hey, this didn't work. <laughs> Just to let you know if it didn't work. Uh, but, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and peel this back and we'll see what's under there. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> I will nail file to work on the nail tool, but I'm just trying to get this started under here. Take it kind of easy, back and forth. I can get a hand on it. You got the sticker. Yep, let's just get that out of the way. We'll record that. Um, let's see on here. This actually has the model number on it, but this, nope, there is a serial number. So I'm going to probably rewrite that somewhere on the inside um, some way so we make sure if this ever got stolen, we could keep that serial number recorded and we could find the uh, crook that may have taken it. Uh, so I'll set that to the side and let's see what's under here. Look, it's screws. Okay, I'm going to just get this cleaned off of these around these screw holes and then we'll start taking them out. All right, so I've picked a Phillips head screw out of my kit. That's as close as I'm going to get to this screw. So let's see how, how much tension is on them. All right, let's see if this wants to move. 
Okay, got a cover. Nice, and there's a battery pack. So let me get situated here and we'll clip to the next little scene here of getting this part out. All right, so I'm making a little bit of progress. Nothing's working from pushing, but uh, I've used my small. I've just really been going some small prying and it's starting to move, but I can also tell that the LED lights, there they go, they just released. And if you hear running around scurrying, that's probably the cats running. <laughs> I think that released, so I'm gonna keep, yeah, there we go, it just released. So let's see if we can wiggle that case out. Bada bing. And there's our battery pack. So let me get this part ready. All right, it looks look like, like our next step is gonna be, let's look at where the battery pack is hooking to. It's coming out of right here, coming to here. And the connection, you can see the white at the tip of the screwdriver maybe, is right under this bridge block here. That is the mount for all of this. Uh, so there's no way to unclip it without removing this. But we start looking up. We're just going to look at some of the other wires. We've got the wires here going to the charging that's in the base. The wires here for the speed controller and so on. But to get this, I'm going to go ahead and turn on this other hand light. A little bit you can see. Maybe a little bit better. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it in the middle of the frame here. But um, I'm going to point to... There's always got to be a flashing mode on this. But to hold this on, it appears all that's holding it on really is a screw here. Let me get that back to the center. Screw here, screw here, and one here on the side. We'll find out if that's true, but I need to go ahead and get those out. Uh, but I did switch from my screwdriver here because getting in at that angle was putting me off center a little bit more than I wanted. So I don't want to strip, strip the screw. So I'm going to be trying this one. I've got a little bit better of a straight angle on, I think. Yeah, we've got the right one there. So I'm going to go ahead and start getting these three screws out, and we'll see if this part comes off okay. Okay, so I've got three screws out, the, the three that I just showed you, but actually there's one more. This should go ahead and pull up off of there and get out of the way. But once you turn it over, you'll start seeing that on the circuit board here, there's one more holding the black plastic frame part in. So let me go ahead and get that one off. Maybe just keep filming it here. The movement. Okay, so I think the next thing I've got to do is I've got some tape and some things here. Nope, actually we've got more screws. So underneath there, is holding on the black plastic frame and here as well. Now I've got to remember to save this little pad here too. That's going to keep this from moving in it. Um, I think we're close. Okay, so they're out. So we're getting ready to separate. I can already tell it's going to be a little bit of work to get all these things lined up in their sockets and so on. But now we're exposed to where we can just unhook the battery. Um, and if you look real close, see if I can point to this if you look at how this wiring harness clips in it is just one of the two prong spreaders okay that would have been really hard to film <laughs> getting the screwdriver down in there but what I ended up having to do if I've got a very small blade see if I can get that in the picture here small straight blade and all I end up doing is getting it down below this and push it in so these need to be squeezed in but i got one side at a time some outward pressure this side and then kind of worked it out and it came out okay next step and we'll pull the battery pack out but i can already feel that there must be some adhesive somewhere on there let's just look around always kind of be patient with things and you know don't go ripping on anything but but prying's okay prying prying's good <laughs> uh, let me Use the old butter knife. Yeah, you can hear that adhesive back there. Just a little bit at a time. I think we'll go by hand by now so I can feel it. I don't want to break the plastic in the back. Okay, and she's out. Ah, there's still some adhesive there left, so that's good. So, a little bit of a critical step, I would say, to save you some headache, but just remember this is the way that this came out with the, this adhesive part and the label down. 
with the wires going off to the left. So let's just make sure we put this one back that same way. Okay, we're going to hook up the new battery. So we've got the uh, V-clip uh, mechanism is going towards that side. And it is latched. I don't want to pull on the wires, just pull on that. Make sure it's seated good. Yeah, feels good. Now next, we should be folding this basically back over that position. We can remember where these screws went. You can see the holes and I'll start. I got to start moving some wires here. So we just got to get things in line and straightened up. All right, so I have these three screws back in. So this is kind of holding together right now. That's holding the rocker switch in place. That's like forward and reverse, I believe. Um, but that's all holding there. And one of the things I already noticed that you want to keep an eye on is this socket plug for the remote head. This uh, little angle off there, you got rounded, you got flat, and then you've got a stick out, kind of like a key. That should go back into this hole towards that side. And the way that'll help getting that back on is noticing that that key fits into this slot right there on that side and the flat spot on that. So when you flip it over, it's going to work. So just remember that as you start to press it together. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and get the small screws here, here. And there was one back here somewhere. I'll remember it at some point here. <laughs> thing that helps is uh, a little bit magnetized screwdriver because it's just hard to see to get in there. Well, this one was tough because you've got this other wiring harness plug there that's right in the way. And it's just very difficult to see. Matter of fact, I'm just going to use this flashlight to the side. To, well, it wants to strobe on me. I hate those functions on a light. But let's uh, see if that'll help me see where I'm going with it. Bam. See, there's one uh, plug here that is not plugged in on this charger. I'm not sure why, but that sometimes those are just bought in bulk uh, for a, a build like this. But I'm going to kind of get that back in place. I'm just going to look this over real quick. I don't want any wires out where vibration, are we crimping anything? I don't see anything bad. This moves, this still moves. And actually, it just came on because we have the new battery in. <laughs> um, okay, and we should have that straight for that. So I'm going to go ahead and slip the cover on. Whoops, I almost forgot something. It's kind of cross-checking everything and realized, remembered I want to put this battery pad back on. Now the question is going to be, will it peel off? And does it still, does it still have any adhesion left? I don't really need the whole thing. I just need it to have a separating space between the battery pack. Is it gonna stick? Maybe good enough. Maybe. All right, we'll just try it. All right, so let's flip this over. We've got that matching. Don't wanna force anything. I did remember that the last time I had to get these passed a little bit of a squeeze. Get those past the LEDs and do we get them in their holders? So close. Let's try to work that. Sorry, that's the kitties racing over there. Oh, it didn't quite come all the way. Let me see. Let me find my other small blade. Oh, there they went almost. This one's in. The top felt a little bit loose while it was out of the case anyway, and I don't think there's anything to do about that, but we still would be able to see it. This one is stuck back in slightly, but it's not caught on anything. It's just lower. Um, so I think that's okay. 
All right, for some reason the screws don't want to start in these bottom cap holes, but I can look through the hole and see that they're off just a little bit. So we're going to torque it just a smidge it. And now let's try that again. Let me lay that down. Feels a little closer. Actually, a little bit small Phillips head on this driver for that. I had a larger one last time, but we'll just see if we can get it. All right, before I move on, I'm going to look around and see if I've had a couple of scrapes on it doing this, but looks like all the gaps are filled fine. Because this thing's dirty. This has been used. It's been used probably hundreds and hundreds of hours by her. Um, oh, yep. That was sticking out a little bit. Now it's good. All that's fine. So all we need to do is put the speed control. There is no, oh, no, there is an indicator. I just noticed it this time in the light. So I'll make sure that down here at the one setting or the off position, I'll just kind of start it there. Get the drill. Let's make sure it plugs in fine and appears to. Okay, so the battery is low and we need to charge this thing up and then we'll give it a test to make sure that everything works. Not too bad, but it was actually more involved than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> All right, it's going through its charging, just plugged it up. We're going to let it set overnight. We'll do some little tests on it. I'll make sure that it seems the performance seems good for her tomorrow. And let's hope that the battery lasts long. Um, good performance with it but I'll just video the test in the morning make sure everything's okay with that well it looks like success so far it's charged up all the way overnight and uh, just time will tell for the battery length uh, if it performs the way she expected but there's the other repair on the jealous go file